Hi, welcome back. In today's session, we'll be discussing about the steps of deleting or dropping a database using DBCA. So I have a database up and running here. Um, the database name is target. We can verify that uh, by using ps command grep smon. Okay, we can see the name of the database at target. Now let's connect to the database by setting the name environment variables that is target and then Let's connect to the database and find out the status of the database and also let's find out the data file path as well. Select name, comma, open mode, comma, database underscore role from V dollar database. So here you can see that the name of the database is target, it's opened in the read write mode and the database is having a primary database node. Now let's select the data file path. Select name from v$ data file. Okay, so the data files are created at slash Vaishit app or our data target. We'll see once the database is dropped or deleted by DBCA whether these files are existing. So to um, check ls l okay, and also we'll see, verify whether the data uh, database name is in the etc or a tab. Okay, so the the name target is there in the or a tab file. Now the next step is that we'll be um, starting the DBCA and we'll try to drop the database. Exit from here, DBCA, click on next, select the option delete database, next. The database which is started is already uh, displayed then, just click on finish. It says that the database assistant will delete the Oracle instance and the data files of your database. All the information about the database will be destroyed. Do you want to proceed? Yes. You can see that it is connecting the database, updating network configuration files and uh, um, deleting the instances and the data file. So it will delete all the network related entries if it is there uh, from the listener.org file as well as uh, the tnsnet.org files and then delete the uh, uh, data files and also remove the drop the instance. Okay. It says that the database deletion is uh, completed. Do you want to perform another option? No. So now let's see whether the entries are the, uh, whether it's removed everything as expected. So first thing we wanted to check whether the instance is up and running. It is not showing. Now let's cat the uh, etc or a tab file. Or before that, let's li list out the files, whether the files are still there at the OS level. You can see that there is no directory itself. Is there all the directory even even that the, the target directory or the uh, directory at which the data file was created? That directory itself is deleted. So let's okay. You can see that slash version slash app or our data. There is no directory called target. Now let's see uh, the or our tab file whether it's updated. You can see that in from the tab file, the entry for the target database is removed. Now let's go to Oracle um, network location, Oracle home slash network slash admin via listener dot ORA. In the listener dot ORA, there is no entry for the target database. And let's see the TNS. Uh, uh, let's see the uh, TNS names dot Okay, you can 
in the TNS names.org also there is no entry for that particular database. So from this it's clear that um, Oracle when you when when you're dropping the database using DBCA it removes the, all the data files and it removes the entry from the Oratab file as well. So one of the easiest method of dropping a database will be using the DBCA. In the next session we'll be seeing how to drop a database using command line methods. Hope it's clear. Thank you.